Dr. David Baker Hargrove. And I'm Robert Baker Hargrove. And, and we're, we're at the top of your inbox. This is the place where we come together to bring to you all of our years of lessons learned from owning and operating businesses, both independently and together. And our goal is to provide you with a little bit of a business bite for you to take back to your company to help your business grow and your leaders develop. So Dr. Day, what's at the top of your inbox today? So today I thought that we would talk about how do you really disconnect or recharge or take a brain break from work and all of the things that you're thinking about. And the question is, are you truly able to disconnect? And for me personally, I have found that the answer is no. However, what I like to try and do is prepare myself for how I manage that. Um, and one of the key things that I would love to share with you all is build up to vacation. And what I mean by building up to vacation is take the first, take the week or the two first two weeks before your vacation and plan all of your key meetings, plan any key follow-up thing that you might need to do. And then that week of your vacation starts, kind of you know, temper off everything. So then that way, by the time you get to your vacation day, the day that you start your vacation or leaving the office, you're, you're, off, you're not slammed with so much stuff to do that your mind has begun to settle down. And the other thing is when you return from vacation, build in time the very first day that you're back to kind of give yourself time to ramp back up and slowly ramp up your week instead of slamming everything once you come back. That way your brain kind of can kind of begin to separate and then re-engage slowly. Um, I find that that's extremely important. So in other words, what you're saying is make sure that you don't play business as usual in the week or two before the vacation and expect to play business as usual in the week or two after the vacation. You really yes. have to utilize your organizational skills to know that you're going to have to work differently both before and after the vacation so that the vacation time doesn't feel like a waste. Right, and it, it truly is a vacation for the brain. Right. You know, oh, the one, uh, another thing I think is really great is an out of office um, email response. Now, not just any out of office. If you're responsible for multiple things and you connect with multiple people throughout the day for those items, um, I would say in your out of office response, make a list. It necessarily doesn't always have to be one person. And that could be succession planning, but that could be in another video. However, it could be multiple people. If you're talking to me about this, contact this person. For this, contact this person. For this, contact this person. And it could be just your department heads. So really thinking about, you know, how do you use email response when people are, when you're out of the office? You know, and another thing is, and this is going to be the really hard part, is try to take time while you're on vacation to not think about anything. It probably won't be the entire time that you're gone because that's probably pretty hard. True. But at least try to make time to not think about it. You know, remember the time that we were just on vacation and I said to you, wow, I'm just sitting here and not really thinking about anything and mm -hmm. how weird that is and i realized to you and i said to you i actually think that it's okay to just sit here and, and think, think about of nothing. nothing and it really is okay but we are so not used to doing that that sometimes it feels wrong and it's not wrong it's a okay. great way to take a break and you know one thing that we have definitely definitely learned from the leaders that we have talked to that if you don't plan your vacations in advance you probably won't take them true statement yes. we plan our vacations 18 months in advance and just as a matter of fact it is uh june right now and i have just booked our vacation uh period for the holidays of 2024 and that has always really helped us now Something like that may not really work for you, but you have to figure out a, a schedule that works for you, fits you and your lifestyle, and maybe that you can't book vacations in the same way every single year like we do, mm -hmm. but maybe you could at least sit down at the beginning of every year and say, well, I'm gonna take this time off, this time off, and this time off, and the next year it may be different, but figure out something that works for you so that you could at least book your time off in advance. Because if you don't do it, then you're not going to take it. 
And the great thing about planning in advance is it gives you excitement building up to the vacation. So then you get excited because you have something to look forward to. So then the everyday work doesn't really seem to drag you down because now you're motivated. Oh, I can do this because you know what? In a week, I'm, a, I'm on vacation in a week. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So now let's talk about some tips for just taking brain breaks just during normal work life. Create yourself a joy list. And what I mean by a joy list is make a list of things that you can do, whether it's for five minutes, or an hour, or three hours, that give you a sense of joy for yourself. Whether it's talking to a friend, um, watching a television show, playing with children, um, talking to family members, um, going shopping, even if it's just window shopping, um, taking a walk, walking your dog or your pet, um, petting your pet, uh, just sitting out and, and watching, people watching. That's a really good one, people watching. Um, anything that gives you joy or that can help you just kind of let your mind relax, make that joy list. And now what you're doing is you're kind of feeding your soul and your spirit and you're giving yourself different ways of re-energizing periodically throughout the week. So then that way, as you get closer to even either going on vacation or even while on vacation, because we all know sometimes vacations can be stressful. Um, so David, you mentioned, uh, you and I were talking about one of the things that's on your joy list. Do we want to share that? Well, you know, one of the things that I really love to do that just kind of gives my brain a shutdown is I like to turn on episodes of Judge Judy and I can sit down when I have an hour or a half hour maybe to, to, to kill and, and I'll just watch, I'll play like a mindless game on my phone and then I'll have the episode go. Just kind of giving your brain a break to do nothing. Right. And, you know, and I, I find that to be very helpful. You know, another thing that I've noticed that some uh, professionals have done that I've worked with in the past is that they set boundaries on their emails, even when they're not necessarily um, out of the office where um, they're, you know, you get an automated response where I only respond to emails between nine and five and I won't respond to your email, you know, during the nighttime hour, after hours or on the weekends, which I think is a great boundary if you're able to do that. Uh, that's really a great way to um, yes. set boundaries for yourself and your work-life balance. But what it also does is it allows, you're also sharing information with the people who are emailing you and say, oh, okay, well now I'm not expecting an immediate response. So it takes the pressure off of you about an immediate response, but then it also provides an expectation for those that receive that out of office. Say, oh, okay, so the individual will probably see this email at this point in time and will have an, an appropriate response at a later time frame and you provide them with that information so it really does um, help communication um, both ways so if you would like more tips and tricks about how to help prepare yourself for vacation or coming back from vacation you can reach out to me at robertbakerhargrove.com or if you'd like you know more information about just how to take a brain break throughout your work life or your work day you can reach out to me at davidbaker-hargrove.com or you can reach out to both of us at bhc assessment Dot com. So until next time, we'll see you at the top of your inbox.